look at this. This is new. Or at least I haven't seen it. And it fits it so much better as well. This actually feels like a road you would walk on. The graphics might be a little bit different. I don't really recognize these houses. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Ooh, something over there. But look at that with the mist off in the distance and then covering the houses as well. This looks so, so good. If this is a clue as to the idea of where the game's going, this is going to look incredible. So, <laughs> it's pretty obvious, guys. Welcome back to Mist Survival. A lot of you guys have been asking if I've abandoned this, and it's always going to be no. The issue is, is that the game is in still kind of a huge development stage, and time isn't really being kind to it at the moment. So, I'm always going to take a look at Mist and the things that have changed. We'll always hop back into it, which is what we're going to do today. My hope for this... Is that 2024 and then switching from, I believe, from Unreal Engine 4 migrating to Unreal Engine 5, things now speed up. Like, the whole process becomes somewhat easier to implement a lot of the ideas and stuff, but fingers crossed. Either way, we're going to jump in and we're simply just going to take a look at anything and everything that could have changed since we last played. So, here we go. Okay. So, we are officially back in Mist. I always have a massive smile on my face every single time we jump back into this. Okay, so, before we move anywhere, I'm very, very briefly just going to scan through the notes, just so we know kind of what we're dealing with. I'm not going to go into detail with it, but the latest and last update, or major update, that the game had would have been in December 23. There's been some smaller ones since then, but this is what that last update said. So, the project has migrated now to Unreal Engine 5, which hopefully, fingers crossed, please helps things speed along or just makes things easier for the developer and anything that wants to be implemented. Maps from version 0.4 have been completely reworked from the ground up while retaining the original landmarks and locations. So a lot of you guys let me know about this. There's different zones that are currently being worked on for different purposes, which should help with things like performance and then adding and taking things away for updates. So hopefully, again, that is another really, really good one. The next one says, new moving object system. So I think this might be referring to, is it this? Which is what we played around with in the experimental update. I should say that as well. The last episode that we did would have been us in the experimental build. So this is now in the regular version or the stable version. So is this now fully implemented into the game? Can it collide with trees and stuff? I wonder if you can hit the infected with that. I would absolutely love that, by the way. Like, just standing on the top of your walls, looking down at the infected and just... Have that. <laughs> just launching it into a crowd of them. That would be... Oh, wait a second. No, because the plan is, I believe, or it was at one point, to have the infected climb the walls. So that could be really cool, just seeing that climbing over the walls and throwing just a random object at them. Okay, so what's the next thing? Implementation of a new carry system. So... As far as I can tell, like, everything with in terms of the weight and stuff and this hasn't changed. Maybe we can have a look in here. Let's see this. Put our flashlight on. I'm a little bit rusty with the buttons and things, so <laughs> if it takes me a minute, guys, I'm sorry. We got an axe there. Let's put that on there. And a chocolate bar. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything different. Maybe with this stuff down here, I don't know. We might be able to see that further down the line, but it's not the biggest issue. Comprehensive vehicle rework i'm actually really excited about that because i do believe in the last episode we had some small teething issues with the vehicle and the trailer which i was really hoping would get fixed or at least looked at and it seems like it is being kept on top of so like in terms of vehicles and being able to stay on the road with a trailer if you find it or moving things from one place to another i really really like that that is a big focus so i'm happy with that keep your eyes open for any bears probably gonna get ooh. Is that a different... I think that is a different vehicle. I hope one day... Oh, wait. No way. No way can we drive these now. Did I, like, miss this? You can fix this up. Or, or can you just take stuff from it? No, install engine. Yes. Oh, you can, you can drive this one. Oh, I've always wanted to drive that one. This one's cool, but, like, the old beat-up pickups are so, so much cooler. What else we got? Nothing in there. Yeah, I do like that, though. A bit more of a fleshed-out interior. Nothing the same as the uh, as the pickup. I don't think so. Look at that. It's a mist. <laughs> All right. What we got up there? <laughs> Let's have a look. Any infected? Gonna scare us half to death? All right. Flashlight on. Ooh. 
There are some things in here that look different. Open. Some ammunition. Can we? No. Okay, so just loot all is F. I'd really like the addition of just double-clicking stuff. We got something down here. Let's pick this up. Propane tank. Can we carry that? Yeah, we can. And if I remember right, launching this out here won't explode it. It probably will now. No, we're good. That thing bounce. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought the propane tank exploded. That's an actual event, isn't it? That's when um, the car crashes and you can you can help them. So you can sleep in these too? Yeah, the idea of this... Oh, there's no way. Okay, I thought there was the ability to play it. The idea of just kind of stumbling across a place, especially early on, and just getting a couple of hours rest, especially if the mist is there too. That could really, really be useful. Saw blade. What we got? Let's take some scissors, some ammunition. I'm smiling right now, guys. I'm very happy. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm not used to, and I like it. All right, let's just equip these. And um, we need to kind of find some backpacks, which I believe were in the vehicles and stuff. So, yeah, we'll we'll scan through those. I guess they could be anywhere. Oh, look at that. Wait, you got to crouch. Ooh, does that mean the infected can't get up here? They're just going to run into that. This is like a little choke point that we could use. A couple of spears just to keep them away or something. Open any of these. No. I guess we'll take some of these. All right, let's head out here. Ooh. I was just about to say to you guys, I really, really like this spot. Look at this. With the platforms off the ground, plenty of height. We could reinforce these, and then in there... You can hear them just snarling away. All right, let's go down. I do want to see if they look different. If we get destroyed by these things, then it's all in the name of science, so it's okay. The door's open. A little bit. <laughs> Where are you guys? Oh, I got the ATV there. I don't see any of them. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh! My God! Oh! Oh, burn! Oh, that was terrifying! Holy shit, that was terrifying! Are they faster now too, or did I just take a minute not seeing that thing coming out of there then? <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm a big fan of the way they look. They remind me of the kind of 28 Days Later zombies. If anybody's seen the movies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The most terrifying zombies in any movie ever. Like, it's hands down, at least for me, the worst type of zombies. And that's what that reminds me of. And that's absolutely a compliment to... Oh, we can use this. So you can hitch that onto, like, a, a pickup truck or, or... I guess any vehicle, then. What's that? Suspension. Oh, I really want to play with all this. See, I know you guys let me know there's... A debug mode or something like that. But I believe you use it with like your numpad. <laughs> I don't have a numpad on my keyboard, guys. <laughs> I only ever use a smaller keyboard. Because I hate when I flick my mouse around and it's, <laughs> it starts banging into the keyboard. I changed it years ago and I've never gone back. But I suppose if there's things in there that we can play around with, I'll absolutely plug a different keyboard in and we'll we'll play around with the debug mode and see what else I haven't seen. Can we get up there? Oh, I love that they added. The, uh, the climb function, or I guess mantle function or whatever. Get up there. Yeah, see, just taking a little bit of safety back here, away from the infected, if the mist comes in, all these little spots would really add up for, like, the storytelling of our series. I like that. Which, by the way, if you were wondering, I do still get messages from people asking, are you going to do another series? 100% will do another series. I only ever kind of do the series, though, when it's in a stable-ish kind of state, which it seems like it is right now. I'm not really getting any performance issues or anything. I've just said there's no performance issues, and then we get all those hitches. <laughs> okay. Let's make me out to be a liar game. One day, guys, we'll be able to drive these things. How cool would that be? You'd have to find a load of gas. Like, maybe take a longer time to actually fix these up, finding rarer components and things, or... It'd be so worth it. Just basically making it a lot harder to fix something like that up than a normal vehicle is. Or like the um, the tractors. You know, the big yellow ones? 
or whatever you would classify them as. It would be so nice to be able to fix those things up. Right. Got any backpacks anywhere? No. I've not seen anything there. I do love how these have all changed. Because in the back of my mind still, I'm kind of working with the old stuff. And it didn't look like this. Look at that. Like how easy the tire is to access, the fuel cap and things, and the way these cars look. Imagine rolling around in that in an apocalypse. You're an absolute badass if you just go around in one of those. Are you what made that big slamming sound? Do we have to make sure you're dead? Or are you just a human that's unconscious? We rescue him? Okay, it's only going to take three minutes. Are you good? We'll take all of this. Thank you for saving me. Sure. There's a small thing that I can give you in return. Thanks. You gave me an apple. Oh, kill him. I did try and trade with him, but he drove a really hard bargain. Right, give me that knife. We'll put that on two. And some more food. Again, I'm playing this like I'm actually surviving, but... Wait, enter? Oh, we can't get in this one. I thought we could. I mean, I know you can't drive it because it's in pieces, but I th really thought you could get in there. Okay. We'll leave that behind. Oh, yeah, there you go. I am playing this on a, a 4090 right now. And a, a 13900K, so I shouldn't be getting any of those hiccups. It's not system related. This is purely performance of the game. So, yeah, hopefully, based off what a lot of you guys were saying, the performance stuff does get ironed out. Can you burst through that? Yeah, little things like that, like little animations of the infected. Maybe a different type of infected, like the bigger ones, just bursting through all that wood in an attempt to get some flesh. Oh, it could be so good. We gotta climb our way up this way to get in. Listen to that. The rabid growls of the undead. What was back there a second ago? Yeah, we got a little porta potty over there. Little chair. Okay, there's a cabin up top. There's a big old bear back there as well. Can we get in? No? See, that would have been nice, being able to do that. Did I miss where the entrance was? Oh, it is! Oh, yes! That's so good. I love the addition of that. Have I just opened this up for them, though? Almost like people boarded them in and kept them in there so they, they couldn't attack the living. Oh, that's going to be so bad, though, if they come this way now. at that one down there with its hood up. Looking all mysterious. A red locker here. I can't remember if we need a particular tool to get in these. Nope. Oh, give me that. It's, <laughs> it's so worth. Uh, stack it. Nice. I don't know why I'm whispering. It makes me feel better. Let's put that on there. this red button do? How many of you guys would have pressed it then without a second thought? Because <laughs> I tried to. Carry this? What happens if you do one of these? Yeah, they're not interested by- Oh! <gasps> There's the chainsaw! Oh, that's what you're guarding. Okay, good to know. One upgrade for two slots. That's a good deal. We need to find the basics, like the crappy pistol and stuff like that, because it all helps. You tend to recycle it out a little bit further on when you find things <laughs> like this. But when you don't have any ammunition for it, it's literally no use, so... All right, let's rotate around this way. Stay away from the big guy, and... Let's see if we can find some more juicy bits. I'm loving this so far, though. Just this area alone. Maybe I didn't explore this all that much last time, but I like how this... Oh, there we go. That's what I was talking about before. Like, the, the tractor. I'd love that to be a thing that you could fix up and then turn it all apocalyptic. Again, I don't know if you can do that either with, like, the vehicle customization, but it would be so, so sick. And then putting a trailer on the back of it, like a caravan or something, you'd have, like, the ultimate apocalyptic mobile. <laughs> that could be so good. We break these open. Nope. Now right, let's go inside. Oh, what are the chances? Yep, I hear you. 
Look at you, you disgust me. Oh, here we go. <coughs> right in the head. Loot the body, take that. Grabbing pills. Screwdriver? I'll absolutely hold on to that. It's incredibly dark inside the houses. I think that was always a thing, though. Oh. What's that? What did we just... What did we just steal? Oh, okay. Can we get this? Yeah, all this type of thing needs to get fixed. 100%, but... <laughs> oh, we just stole it. Just stole an entire shelf through the window. Ooh. Look what that is. You guys already know. Right. So with that... Let's climb up here. Oh, there were shotgun shells on there. Wait, wait. Okay, so I can just climb up that. Oh, I'm risking it a little bit here. Oh, there's the mist. Get that up there. No! Get! You know what? That can stay there. Climb up. <laughs> I'm not risking being on the ground while this mist is here. Oh, the little bear. I wonder if the infected go after the bear or the wildlife. I wonder if that's been changed. Oh, look, they're already moving in. Look at them. Oh, they're so much worse up close. I think I remember there being a change last time. Was there a change? I don't know. It's been a minute since we've actually been in this, but wow. That was terrifying when I was over at that barn and that thing was right in my face. All right, so what we should probably do then is fill up our thirst. Our hunger's not too bad, but our thirst, if we get anything that we can have? No, not really. All right, what about sleeping then? If we let's have a couple of hours, maybe two hours for that to pass. The minute you hear the noise stop, there we go. That's when you want to wake up. And that's kind of how you avoid the mist, or at least how I've been avoiding it. I was trying to do some stuff with this where I could get a little bit of height and act as like a sniper tower on top, but it's so hard to balance it. <laughs> it was a stupid idea. Yeah, the vehicle parts and stuff. I really do like that. Where are you at? That was a headshot. That was another headshot. Tango down. It's going to get really, really scary doing this. <laughs> I promise you guys. Like, these things feel different. They move different too. If I remember right, there's a bandit spot around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure of it. Are you the last one? I think you might be. <laughs> what are you running off to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so worth. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just, I, I felt like I had to. You know? <laughs> I felt like <laughs> I had to come up here and just handle business. Which we did. So, we'll take these. What did you have in your backpack? Oh, you had a grenade. Nice. I'll take that. And you had all the candy bars, which I'm not really going to need. I'd love to take... Like some of the clothing though, like the uh, the scarf and then put that around my neck or over my face if we go into like a stank area or something that I don't want to breathe in all the fumes. Okay, so the bandits are kind of still the same. There's nobody. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, that's a new pistol. Give me that. That looks more like a Glock or something, right? Somebody's going to correct me in the comments, but at least what I think looks like a Glock. Let's see. Oh, that looks... Oh, look at the way he holds it, too. Oh, I love that. Stay dead. Yep, don't have any ammunition. Shit, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I just found some ammunition. Let's see this reload, then. Here we go. Oh, that's so nice. I love this thing. Oh, 100%. I love the, um, the 1911. But, yeah, I really, really like that. Broken shotgun... Nothing on the front. Gunpowder. Ooh, you had a suppressor. <laughs> I'll take that. 
Look at this little spot. Got the sandbags there. Wouldn't it make more sense to have them both sides or all around? What's in this? Yeah, little areas like this. That's cool. Can we... Across here. Not really anything much that we want to take. The best thing from this was absolutely this pistol. I had no idea this was in. But I really, really do like it. Oh, whoa. <gasps> We've got a new facility here. How do I get in there? Okay, the front's open. I don't want to break my shit falling down this. Oh, dig your heels in. Dig your heels in. Oh, dig them in. Okay. That hurt. <laughs> We're going to find a bruise in the morning. 100%. None of the gates have got, like, holes in. Oh, yeah. This is 100% going to be some kind of, like, CDC area or something. No. Science and Research Center. So, is this where we can synthesize... A cure, maybe? Oh, he's so, I love stuff like this. Putting everything together. Oh, do I want to go in there? I haven't. Yeah, I needed another battery because I kept the other one on. Oh, this is so dark. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. Not without a flashlight. Probably climb that, though. Kind of get a lay of the land. I'll just get on top of the building or something. If it'll let us go up there. I don't know if it will. Can we? Oh, we can't climb that shit. <laughs> okay. I really do like this, though. Another little facility which adds a bit more mystery to what's going on. Or... Like I was just saying there, though. You can kind of paint your own picture of what this place could be for. It might be for nothing. It might just be something that is going to look like this now. And then maybe next time or another big major update. We're going to see it all run down with, like, moss growing up the side of it or decaying in some way or just a spot that was something from the past that is no longer needed in this future timeline. So, I don't know. It could be something that we could use in the future. Either way, I like to think it could be something. But I don't know. So, we're here right now. And look at this little spot. We've just found... A couple of cabins just off the side of the lake. So if you fortify this area up, again, this could be like another really, really good spot. If you can get a boat to get across to the other side as like a second escape option. What's this? Yeah, oh, it's the fishing bucket. There's some really cool little areas that you could absolutely work with. Is there any painkillers? Because, oh, there we go. Give me that. Uh, let me put you in there for a second. All right, wait. How do we do this again? If we go to equipment... Or is it gear? Yep, gear. And then go to this. Proceed. <laughs> Please fix it. Nice. And then let's open you again. Grab my food back. Oh, yeah, I think you can. I think you can find everything in this area in order to make, like, a fishing rod. Whoa. Can you just rest? Just take a load off for a second. Is that not going to speed things up? Let's get a good 13 hours sleep in. It's like half five right now. Hopefully the sprained ankle will go away. It's not going to be comfortable, but we don't need it to be. We just need it to serve its purpose. Oh, the mist has just come in. No? Oh, and a new morning. Look at that. They've got an island there too. Oh, we have to go there. I didn't see that. All right, let's drink this. Have a little soda pop. I really, really do like this area around this lake. There's some spots around it too that I really do want to go and visit. Right, the sprained ankle has fully recovered. Let's just <laughs> take it easy with this. I'm absolutely going to the island, but which side? Oh, this is the longest way. Yeah, my best bet would be going that side. And that way I can get to whatever this is as well. I want to have a look at that. I'm just kind of trying to find different areas that we've not been to before around this spot. Just take a look at some stuff that's new to us or any potential places that we could call home in the future. Oh, this is way, way, way shorter than the other side. I probably would have drowned if I went from that side, to be honest. And we're pretty close to whatever's over there, too, so... Here we go. Oh, no. What was that animation? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, I wonder if you can drop from a height, then, into water with that animation. Ooh. Okay, so this is quick swimming. Nice. There's no real stamina bar popping up, which... I guess he's good. <laughs> Don't need to worry about it. Yeah, there's a weird thing going on with the sensitivity, but I can live with that. Wait, can we not get up there? Oh, please tell me we can. Yes. So what's here then? 
Just some wood. It's a little area where people have been in the past. Maybe make this a home. Yeah, there's nothing really of value or interest here, but... At one point, somebody was here. Look at all this stuff. If you could repurpose this, maybe break them down, make a little cabin or something, or just a shelter. It's like, if you're living over there and it all gets run over, you can use the boat to get to this spot. Or even swim, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is going to be a long swim, but... Yeah, just a, a fallback option. Could be kind of cool. All our clothes are wet, but... We should be alright. Ooh. What's this, then? Is this a... Oh, that's another bandit spot. I don't really have... The ammunition to tangle with them as well. Right, let's see what we got. Oh, that is a big bandit spot too. Hold on. So what have we got? We got five rounds in the pistol. We got eight rounds for the shotgun. And nothing for the M4. What do we think about those odds, guys? Oh, don't you do it. That's a sniper. <laughs> I used all of my pistol ammo too. Right, let's get the shotgun out. I'm gonna try and bring him in. That laser. <laughs> it scares the hell out of you every time you see it. Use the trees. Two of them there. Oh yeah, we could hit that. Nice. It's one down. Two of them down. I gotta get rid of that sniper though, somehow. No way did that get him. Another one coming in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> there's gonna be a sneaky one hiding somewhere, though. I'm calling it. This is a really nice spot, too, though. That's made me sad, though, because I thought we'd find a little area that could be different to where we've been before. Actually, I should probably check. This area's clear get scared so bad when they run up on you and they just start firing. Where did he go? Weapon part. Did you not drop a sniper rifle? That would have been real nice. We got a machete out of it. You didn't drop your sniper rifle. That makes me sad. Ooh, we got a bow though. It's the recurve bow. Fishing reel. <laughs> this is a really cool area. I really didn't think we had the... Uh, the ammunition to tackle these guys. Actually, how... How is our vest doing? Let's see. Oh, is it gone? Oh, the vest armor's gone. So, yeah, we were down to just <laughs> our health. I suppose it's not bad risking it when we're just taking a look at things. Nothing in here. What is that? Carrot seed sack. Some cash. Has basically zero value right now in the apocalypse. That's the one thing you don't want to hold on to. Food, water, shelter, and medicine. Those are the most important things, right? Look at all this business. Wait, that's a mocha pot. <laughs> it means you can make some coffee as well. So you can get like a little pot and put that on there. Oh, I love that. In the, imagine that in the, like, the back of a trailer or something on the back of a car while, just while you're traveling around and then you stop. Have a little bit of a coffee or something after you've been traveling all day just to warm you up. Some more pencils. What's that? Okay, more ammunition. <laughs> Got a rocket there as well. Some boots. We'll equip those. Oh, look at that. Jumper cables. Wait. So you're going to have to jump start cars now? It's another thing I love. And there's the pot that we could have used up there too. Oh, there's so much that's been added. I always say this, and I know I sound like a broken record when I say it. But the smaller things in games like this, the smaller touches, obviously apart from like performance things which always take priority, but the smaller things have such a big impact further down the line. It's the little things that bring a smile to your face, you know? That you might not necessarily notice, and then when you come across them, it's like, oh, that's cool. It leaves that lasting impression. At least it does with me, anyway. Alright, got ourselves another cabin. I hear you, chicken. <laughs> I'm absolutely shooting that chicken on sight if it comes close. I know I've said this a few times as well, but 
in a game like Mist, the survivor stories where you would read the journals of somebody living in this time and like listening to their thoughts, not necessarily their last thoughts, but if they've gone out hunting or they've abandoned this spot because it got too hot or something like that with the infected or whatever it was, I think that would be such a good idea. Oh, what? That is a huge survivor camp. Or is it for bandits? I see a couple of sentries posted up there. That is straight out of The Walking Dead. I absolutely love that. Look at that building too. I mean, it's definitely a little out of place, but <laughs> it isn't everything in this world right now. <laughs> Nothing has to make sense. Look, they're growing stuff. They've got greenhouses going on. Water towers. Oh. oh. Okay, right. I'm not going to get too close to that because <laughs> I probably will end up dying. But let's have a look at where else we could possibly go. So we've basically seen this area. We came around here. We saw the lake. Saw these spots. So yeah, it'd just be over here and back towards where the school area would be, which would pretty much be in that direction. Right, let's see if we can scoot around that then. Oh, that area is so, so cool. It really is. There's a few spots that I do want to leave for when it comes to the series. I don't want to see everything and then go through the series where we already know what's going to happen. I would like to leave a few surprises. So this area here, and then I kind of want to go directly behind it, right? So... In that direction yeah because there's the lake we follow this ridge round that should take us to where we want to go i think <laughs> a giant school there as well oh could you imagine like zombie kids oh man anything in terms of horror like when children are involved it's already terrifying i couldn't imagine when the mist rolls along if you get caught out in there if you could hear like a creepy little laugh or something and then you're staring at a doorway and you see something just go <laughs> left to right. Oh, but whoa. Oh, so I wonder if we're going to have like different factions and things. I kind of want to take a sneak peek inside one of these, but I feel like this is lived in right now. <laughs> Let's just go in. That looks so good. You got towers posted everywhere too. All right, let's switch to this. Oh, oh there's got to be like factions or something. Look at these bows as well and these like spears or something. I don't know the name for those. I did at one point, but I, my brain always goes to mush when it comes to me naming something or talking in front of you guys like that. If you know it, let me know in the comments. So all this stuff that we've seen just around this area then kind of puts into perspective what's going on behind the scenes. And as much as people like myself who only want good things for the game and just to play it non-stop and have really cool updates coming along, as much as we are super impatient... <laughs> We just want the game to be finished so we can play it for hours and end. It just shows what a mammoth task this is. Like, it was always going to be a huge undertaking, but the ideas behind it, all this type of stuff, mixing it up, potentially with different kind of factions, or even if it's not, if it's just like an area that people have taken over. So, so interesting to find out more about that. Whoa, is that somebody in that tower? They don't seem to have great range. Police vehicle. Nothing we can really salvage from this. And I think that should be the case too. Not every single vehicle has to have something in it, you know? Can break some of them down, use them for scraps. <laughs> I've genuinely had so much fun being back in Mist. We gotta do it at this point. It's kind of like tradition on the channel. You guys ready? Hello? <laughs> Imagine if all we could hear right now was just a horde <laughs> traveling. What is... Oh, it's Seekers, no! Oh. Can I take it down? 
No, go. Oh, I think I'm done. No, go. Those things are damn near indestructible. Look at them. Okay, yep. <laughs> That's definitely a warning sign to get away from that area. Okay. And I guess that explains why nobody was back there then. Because the Seekers have either eaten everyone or people got the hell out of there when they first saw them roll through. So, guys, I think this is where we're going to end. I've genuinely had a blast being back in Miss, like seeing all the new things, all the new buildings, all the new potential that the game has. And I don't want to sound like this is a rant because I promise this is coming from a place of love, which I genuinely do love the game. But I really, really hope 2024 is a big turning point in Mist, where we get plenty of updates, loads of progression in the game that we can just sink our teeth into and enjoy this together. So if you do want to see more Mist in the future when possibly there's some new updates coming out or new changes or anything like that, or even if you just want to see a series in the future, let me know by dropping a like on the video, subscribe and make sure you keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.